Okay, good morning guys from Tana Turaja. Uh, we just arrived here uh, this morning actually on a sleeper bus from Makassar. That was an experience of itself. Uh, didn't get much sleep because the bus was just rocking so much. It was I was getting seasick on a bus. <laughs> would, would have never expected that, honestly. But yeah, we've, uh, we're now in a little village called Limo and um, Tana Taraja has a really rich history, a very unique history that is you won't see anywhere else in Indonesia. Um, so we're going to be showing you a little bit of what the village here looks like. And one cool thing that I've already learned off is that, you know, Indonesia is one of the largest Muslim populations around the world. And here in uh, Tana Taraja, they're all Christian. Most of them are Christian here. They have churches built instead of mosques. This is honestly such a stark, stark contrast to what we experienced in Makassar, where it's a hustle bustle, very busy developing city. And um, here you come out to the rural village, lots of rice fields, lots of gardens being grown. People are pretty much relying on agriculture and the land here. So what you guys might not realize is that this is actually a cemetery. So what they've done is they've carved holes into the wall here of the rock and they've built these statues to hold the ashes or bodies even of the people that have passed away here in Lemo. It's a super unique ritual where the higher up the person is, the higher the rank, obviously. And these behind me are what they use to carry the bodies up. But not everybody can afford it. Um, only the people with money can actually afford to do these burials and cemeteries. Nah, ketinggalan di rumah. Guys, if there is one thing you guys should know when you come to Indonesia is that if you're going to some kind of attraction, if you're going to some kind of park, they're always required to give you a ticket. And on the ticket, it's actually the ticket price. Now, what I didn't like about this place is that we came here and they were trying to charge us more. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna price Bule's price double price than local because the money goes to the government or whatever it's called for example one ticket cost 10,000 but we in order to pay 30k I need to get three tickets so basically long story short guys what happens is that if they don't give you a ticket they can pocket the money and yeah so whenever you pay for a ticket make sure you get the actual ticket this lagoon area is called the Langa hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly and all the kids all the locals know about it um, it's just basically a, a freshwater lagoon and there's two eels in here. I think they're eels. Maybe they're a different type of fish, but uh, the kids are, are charging 5k IDR for an egg, which the eel basically chases after um, for food. So you can get some really cool videos and, and photos of it. But yeah, all the kids are pretty much swimming in here. It looks pretty cold. The kids are shivering as soon as they get out of the water and it's just crystal clear blue water you can literally see the entire bottom of it it's a really beautiful area so hey bring out some shorts come swim with the locals here it's a great little little adventure day um, if it's really hot out Alright guys, we've arrived at our final stop before heading to the hotel and showing you what the accommodation here looks like in Tanatoraja. But this is one of the most famous and prominent landmarks here um, that you're probably ever going to visit. And this might look very familiar to you. It looks like the similar landmark from, where, where is it, Brazil? I don't know the name of it because I've never been, but um, let's go ahead and show you really quick. There is certainly an abundance of souvenir shops and street stands selling uh, knickknacks, some bags, scarves, hats. So if you want to come and buy a souvenir, this is the place to be and place to do it. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know how much we have paid so far today in 
tourist fees and entrance fees. Seems that like everywhere we go, it's like 50K IDR uh, entry fee. And sometimes that doesn't even include parking fee. And then as soon as they see me, they're like, oh, let's double the price. Even the toilets down there, two to 3,000 rupiah. <laughs> This is Asia, man. Anytime you come to Asia, even toilets are you gotta pay for. So, guys, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is a majority of Christian population here, um, in contrast to uh, other parts of Indonesia where it's uh, majority Muslim. And uh, there's Jesus right there, up above me. You can't really get a good photo of here because he's so high. Now while you're up here guys, you guys have an amazing view of the mountain and skyline up here. Surprisingly, it's really nice weather too. Thankfully, it's not raining. And down below you have a view of the main town. And I even saw my first mosque here because it's surprising to see a mosque here when it's a majority Christian town. Guys, we have been up and awake for, well, since last night, I guess. We didn't really sleep on the bus. Got on the bus at 9, and it's now like, what, 1 o'clock in the afternoon now the next day. But we've now arrived at the hotel. Let's go ahead and check in and show you what the accommodation looks like here and the price that we paid and uh, what we got for our money. First impression. First impression. Oh <laughs> it's a little older than it was in the pictures, I think. Well, we knew that uh, in the photos, the furniture and the theme was old colonial style, I guess. But, um, I mean, it definitely smells like it. The bed is very springy. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, <laughs> fridge looks pretty old. Doesn't look like it's been cleaned in a long time. TV's pretty old. Cobwebs, ooh. I just got cobwebs opening in the fridge. I guess nobody's really staying here. Let's see what we got in here. Whoa, my God, I almost broke that. I'm afraid this is gonna break. And uh, here's our bathroom. But this is the view you get. Haven't seen a single other guest here. Now guys, we paid for our driver. That was 600K for the whole day. Uh, well, not really the whole day. He picked us up at the bus station at six and then dropped us off here. It's like 12.30 now, I think. Um, so if really for six hours. We could have hired a bike for 150K, really, if we wanted to. We also paid for all his food. So the driver's food, we paid for all of that. That was probably an extra, I don't know, another 100K. All the parking and entrance fees, we also had to pay that as well on top of that. And that was maybe like another 200K, I wanna just guess. You have a few limited hotel options, not that many of which are upgraded with modern amenities. This place looked good on photos, but um, the photos that looked really good compared to this uh, what we received and it seems that with tour with lack of tourism that the place isn't keeping up with updates so all right guys good morning it's our last day here in Tana Toraja and did not have a good sleep there's just roosters and chickens what do they do crow they scream I don't know but the chickens were basically keeping us up all night so it was not a good sleep. There was lots of honking, lots of cars, bikes, I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get breakfast. At least breakfast is included, so I'll show you what, that, what that's like and then head to the bus station. Okay guys, for breakfast we got fried banana or plantains and coffee so far. And we're gonna be having some nasi goreng. Hopefully we'll, we'll make it out in time before we have to go to the bus station though. <laughs> okay, well the breakfast is surprisingly A+. It looks great. So much rice. All 
All right, guys. So this is our bus station in the middle of the road here in Tana Toraja. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video from start to finish here in the city. Hope you gave you a little bit of information, an idea of what it's like to come here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.